Our lesson for today will be looking at chemistry 1502. The topic for today, we are still busy with alkene reaction, part two lesson series. Today's reaction will be looking at halogenation mechanism lesson 107. Let us start. Halogenation basically it is an addition of halogens to alkenes. We normally add halogens to alkenes to form vicinal dihalides. And we are still busy with addition. Now we know that an alkene, it's an organic molecule which has double double bond between carbon and carbon. We react it with halogen. And we know that most of, actually all halogens, they are diatomic molecules, so they will always go with they will always go in pairs to form a vicinal dihalide. Where we know that X can be, we can say X2 can be Cl2 or Br2 or sometimes it can be I2. I normally don't want us to waste time but to jump straight to the mechanism. The general mechanism. Step one. You should know that in step one we have electrophilic attack to form a halonium ion. What is a halonium ion? Let us explain this. So we know that we have an alkene reacting with diatomic halogen. What happens is that we have a double movement of electrons like this and we have bond breakage which is heterolytic bond fusion between the two atoms to yield With a positive charge plus our halide ion. By the way, this is halonium ion. It has halogen ion within it. Then the next step we take step number two, by the way. Step number two the halide ion opens the halonium ion. So we have our halonium ion here. It will actually attack from the back and then we have movement of electrons here to form a vicinal let us actually put it like this we put our first halogen here and our second halogen here you can see this is our product and it's a vicinal dihalide let us look at our examples Let us use propene, reacting it with uh, bromine. So we have Br, Br. So the double bond, and at the same time we have formation here, we have bond breakage here. Then our Our product we have BR here with two lone pairs and a positive charge plus our halide ion 
and then from here step number two before we continue I want us to make something clear here let us look at the movement of electrons so we have electrons moving from this from this double bond this double bond one of the double bond one of the bonds on this double bond will move to our first halogen and then here I want us to explain this in detail to avoid any misconception electrons are moving from the pi bond to the halogen and then we also have these electrons here these ones they move from the halogen to this carbon so we can say this bond it's the movement from this to the halogen and then this bond is from the halogen to that particular carbon I hope you can see this so that we don't make any mistakes when we are practicing or when we are we are, we are attempting questions during sessions especially the the arrows the electron flow is very important so here we have you can see it is like this then from here we have our halide ion in this case you can see that this electrons they move to here then we are going to attack we attack this one this time from the back to form and you should know that we we have an anti addition there is a lesson video whereby I introduce the stereochemistry of these mechanisms it is anti as you can see from this example they don't add we don't add them on the same side we have seen addition and anti addition anti addition simply means that we add them different faces and then sin addition we add them on the same face like the sin addition will be like this we have x same side we have x so the stereochemist the stereochemistry it's it's important let us look at another example suppose we have which was one of it's a similar organic molecule which challenged my students during the sessions so in this case we can perform the the mechanism and you should know that the product will be like this remember we said it is anti so one of the BR will be towards the page and then the other one will be away from the page or it can be like this it's in enchoma but the way it is it seems like it's it's the very same it's the very same molecule 
but not it is an enchoma. Let's quickly look at our last example. Let's say we have Let's represent the hydrogen for the sake of explaining this. So we have Br and Br. Then we are going to have movement of electrons. Oh, by the way, we have a double bond here. Remember, we're dealing with alkenes. So we have movement of electrons and these electrons towards this carbon to form alonium ion then we have our remaining br are taking from the back to form we have br and we have br you can see that it is entire addition by the way this is a trans and then we know that the enantiomer Will actually be like this uh, let's see it will be br h and br h so as usual we also have activities for this particular reaction for consolidation we need the product show the mechanism cyclo heptene reacting with Br2 in CH3Cl2 uh, the second one oct3 in reacting with Br2 in CCl4 as usual after answering these questions you can consolidate actually verify confirm with me the answers then work through them. That's it for this lesson video. This is Fahula SJ. Thank you very much.